Okay, I have today Representative Eric Burleson from Missouri. We're going to be talking about some of the biggest stories that people want answers for. What's going on with the southern border? What's going on with the Republican Party? And what's going on with the UFO investigations? Uh, Congressman, thank you so much for joining me today. Great to be here. There's a, a big battle heating up right now on the southern border between Governor Greg Abbott of Texas. He's got, I think, 25 Republican states that are telling uh, the, the federal government Texas has the right to protect and defend their own border. Uh, on the federal government side, the White House and, and President Biden, who claims there's no border issue, there's no uh, security issue at the border, is telling Texas, stand down, let these people come in, process them faster, don't complain, uh, it's our border, not yours. What, what do you think is going on? What is, what is your assessment? Are we being invaded at the southern border? I believe that we are. Look, well, there's been nearly eight and a half million people come across the border since Joe Biden took office. To put that in comparison, um, when we had the um, one of the executives from the Department of Homeland Security in to the Oversight Committee just recently, and he, he testified that um, under the Trump administration, the highest watermark was 30,000 crossings in one month. Under the Biden administration, we're seeing upwards of 300,000. So tenfold um, flow into the United States. And the, the, what the changes that were made to the policy and the way in which um, this administration deals with the laws on the books is, is really the, 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 what, is, what has caused this um, increase in flow. Whenever Biden took over and he eliminated the remain of Mexico policy, uh, when he made it so that asylum seekers could could pre-register downloading an app um, before they even come into the United States, they have basically created a fast track process and in a very convenient way for people to immigrate into the United States illegally and then even make it easy for them to find their final destination. And so um, we we're we're funding a lot of these, um, these NGOs who are, are basically um, aiding and abetting criminal activity. And that's being done at the expense of, year, of our tax dollars. And so the, there's a lot of disturbing things that are happening, but what, what's happening on the, you know, the smoke and mirrors that's happening is that uh, Chuck Schumer um, had in the Senate along with the Biden administration, they have tried to form a, a group that is both Republican and Democrat to come to come together with some kind of language to quote unquote, fix the border. But all by all accounts, the language that they're working on is really only going to legal make legal what is happening on the border. It's going to uh, legally allow 5,000 people a day to cross into the United States. Um, it's gonna it's gonna increase the work permits. It's gonna it's gonna do everything it can. Basically, the the bill will legalize what is currently happening. And I I don't I'm not that's not acceptable to me. It's not acceptable to my district to my constituents. Um, I think that we have a financial burden that we can't bear as well. I mean, Milton Friedman, the great economist of our of our era, once said, "You can have." an open border nation or a welfare state, pick one. You really can't, you can't, a nation can't survive as both. And, and that's, unfortunately, that's, that's the, the United States today. Yeah. Well, it seems like uh, people illegally coming in, they're getting way more benefits from even our own citizens. Children are being removed from schools. Uh, they're being put up in posh hotels, meals, cell phone, legal fees, um, I read the other day that veterans are not getting medical care because illegal immigrants are, um, you know, getting medical uh, treatment before the hospitals in Denver are saying we're on the verge of financial bankruptcy. The airports are saying that we're, we're full. There's just bodies sleeping here. We don't know yeah. what to do with them. So um, it is definitely an issue. So you sit on the committee that is investigating uh, UFOs or UAPs. I wanted to see, I know that recently you guys 
were brought in to, uh, I guess, be debriefed on classified information. We don't want you to reveal anything that uh, would go beyond your authority. But I wanted to see if you give could give my community an update on anything that you've learned about, you know, the government spending. Are, are there really UFOs? Uh, is the United States in danger? Things like that. Yeah, I think that one of the concerns that I had is is when we have a whistleblower like David Grush come forward, who is a central figure within this community and and has made some pretty bold claims, um, you know, and that those are all public. He's he made claims that um, the United States has multiple retrievals, crash retrievals of uh, non-human origin that we have um non-human biologics um, that, that, that come, come with that. He didn't specify what that meant. So he made a lot of very, very interesting claims. Um, but, you know, as, apart from the sensational aspects of it, what is concerning is that you've, is his description of the way in which the Department of Defense and the intelligence community is nesting within um within the different secret um, special operation programs that are very classified, the, the, the UAP program, if you will, is being compartmentalized and nested within, within those different programs. And so the money that's being spent, well, it is not only dark, it's extremely dark because we, 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 we know that of the federal government, I think some of the estimates are that there's been of the $700 billion Department of Defense budget, about 50 billion of it is, is sent to some of these, you know, dark uh, programs. And so there's quite a bit of money that's flowing. And the, the question that it raises is, if we're a Republican form of government or a representative form of government, how, how is it that lawmakers are not aware of what's happening in these programs? How is it that there's no um, there's no transparency. They're they're not releasing any information to members of Congress. They are not sharing it with other members of the intel community when when they do have a right to know. And so those kind of concerns are valid concerns that that Grush has raised, and I think it merits investigation. I also think that when you've got um, you know, Air Force pilots, Navy pilots, all reporting and recording in some instances um, their their sightings and their near miss uh, misses with these air aircraft. Then um, I think it's something that if we if we care about the safety of our pilots, if we care about the security of the nation, it's important that we we determine what what it is. Now, I I've. I've been I've made news in 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 this regard. What I've said is that my my belief I'm the skeptic on the committee. I believe that it's more likely it, the most likely thing that we're seeing is that you know and I don't discount that these objects that are in the sky are are not there. I believe that I believe the pilots, I believe the footage. I just don't jump to to the conclusion that it is little green men that traveled here light years to get here and then crashed. I, I don't jump to that conclusion. I think the most obvious answer is that it's probably our, you know, the contractors within our defense community doing advanced research and in advanced propulsion. That's what, that's what uh, my worldview is. Now, one of the theories that was brought up in the hearing that Grush had in his report is that, these that these craft and this is this is Grush's claims, not mine. That these craft are not traveling here so much as that they are uh, in a in a way in which they are they are um, phasing into or they're extra dimensional um, technology or creatures that are extra dimensional to this dimension, and that and he and he spoke about you know the holographic principle, and I and I understand all that. I get all that. But I, in my mind, I said I've said publicly that you might as well, to me, be talking about angels. You know, if you're going to talk about things that are of a of an entirely different realm of of being, we might as well be talking about um, 
about something that's beyond or super something that's supernatural, if you will, because it's beyond this nature. Okay. And and so <laughs> I say that to say I think it's most likely that it is um, that it's us that it's our military contractors, and I'd say, um, uh, but based on Grush's comments, um, I would say um, it is you know it's it's intriguing the idea that there are extra dimensional um, forces at work. Okay, thank you for that. Um, I, I I hear what you're saying. Where uh, I understand. You know, maybe the government doesn't want taxpayers to know all of the different places that they're using their tax money. But when members of Congress, the elected officials don't have knowledge, it's being hidden, compartmentalized. It, it does seem like uh, people within the military or those within the, the part of the government that aren't elected in or voted out, that they end up holding the secrets close to the vest. And, and it sounds like that's the part that's bothering you, where it's these dark pools of money that are collecting vast amounts of money, but nobody has any oversight on what's actually happening. Yeah, that's exactly the concern that I have. Is And, and I, look, if there is some advanced technology that, that our contractors are working on, that's understandable. Uh, but somebody who's elected should be aware of, of where the dollars are going. Are flowing and what they're flowing to. If they're if these contractors are it's if the dollars are all private and there's no federal uh, expenditures towards these programs, that would be a completely different conversation. But because we are spending an enormous amount of money, to give you an idea, fifty billion dollars is is oh, I think probably one and a half times the entire state of Missouri's budget. So my entire state budget plus half is how much the federal government is spending just on these dark programs. Wow. Yeah. Well, when you put it into that context, that is a massive, a massive amount of money. Um, now, uh, really quickly, I don't, I don't fully understand everything about government. Did you uh, volunteer to be on this committee or was it assigned to you by somebody else? So I'm on the oversight committee, which is the investigatory arm of Congress. And we're the committee that investigates everything. This at the beginning of this last year, we were in a hearing investigating the Twitter gate, Twitter files that were being released. Um, we we're currently investigating the transactions of the Bidens and the and, and Hunter Bidens and, and that flow of money from different foreign entities. Um into the Biden family's bank accounts. Okay. Um, now, the Daily Mail recently put out an article that the CIA has a secretive UFO recovery division that has been deployed at least nine times to recover non-human crafts. Was, was that something that you were aware of or was the publishing of that article the first time you heard anything about the CIA having a non-human recovery division? Yeah, I would say one of the most disappointing parts about being in Congress is that you would think that you would find out information ahead of the public, but it has, in my case, it is yet to be the case. I, um, I found out about that as you did when it when the story broke, um, and I have, you know, people ask people have these perspectives or belief that we are getting that they're pulling when we go into these skiffs, when we go in these rooms that they're pulling back the curtain and, and telling us everything they know. And that's not the case. In fact, I can't tell you, I haven't really learned a whole lot from anybody in a secure setting. Okay. Um, I, you generally find that it, you find out more information from the public and in the news. Interesting. Okay. I, I know that we've run out of time. I want to be respectful. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for everything that you do. Um, if there's any big announcements in the the UFO or the border or uh, the GOP, please, we'd love to have you come back on the show. But uh, Congressman Eric Burleson, thank you so much for coming on today. Anytime.